Hey Madsters! So I just wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you guys are engineers and Michigan engineering is very highly regarded. However, I don't have experience in that. So I wanted to talk to some of my friends who are engineers and have them share their experience in the program to help you guys better understand what being an engineer at the University of Michigan is like. And I hope you guys find this video helpful. Hey Madsters, I'm Alexa. I'm a senior studying mechanical engineering with a minor in computer science. Hey, hey Madsters. Madsters! This is Patrick. I'm a grad student in electrical engineering at Michigan. Uh, I did my undergrad in electrical engineering also at Michigan. And right now, this semester, I'm a GSI for um, physics. Hi Madsters, I'm Brian. I am currently a sophomore studying meteorology in the College of Engineering here at University of Michigan. And what made you choose engineering? I always liked math and science in high school and stuff, and I like the hands-on type work, and I just liked all the job opportunities and everything, so I think it's a good degree to have. Engineering at Michigan, I was kind of lucky to get automatically enrolled into it as the application process goes. So you just apply to LSA or you apply to engineering, it's like a direct admin, kind of like Ross. So chose engineering because really good at math, really good at science, and really like getting my hands down and dirty. I came in to the university pretty much knowing that I wanted to do meteorology and that's what I wanted to do with my life. When I saw that University of Michigan had a meteorology program, sign me up. College of Engineering, it's just what it fell under, but it was also something that played to my strengths. I was good at math and science in high school and needed a lot of math and science to do well in the College of Engineering. There's a lot of prerequisites for every major. You need like most of the calculus classes, physics, chem. There's a lot of math and science for College of Engineering. Why did you choose electrical engineering? Electrical engineering is a super broad engineering field. And as someone going into engineering, not knowing what they wanted to do, you kind of have like two choices. You can go mechanical or electrical. And then from those two, you can specialize in certain things. The mechanical field is super broad, more physical. You could do like heating and then you could do like structure design. And then electrical engineering, you can do whatever you want. You could build power converters or you could go into chip design or you could do communication and networking and programming. So I chose electrical engineering because it's more fun for me. Why do you choose mechanical engineering specifically? Mechanical engineering is just like really broad and I came in thinking I wanted to do biomedical engineering and do like medical devices and stuff, but that's just a little specific and with mechanical engineering you can go into like that type of field or just really any type of field, which is really exciting. What are your classes like more focused on meteorology than engineering? So like what kind of topics do you guys go over in that? So right now I have a few different meteorology classes. There's some that deal with dealing with instruments and all the coding and stuff that goes along with that. And then kind of on the other end, I have a class about radiation and light and optics, which is very physics focused. So even within my major, I get a lot of different aspects of the College of Engineering. And that's usually pretty consistent depending on what major you get. So you've taken a lot of classes. What's been your favorite? I actually really like my computer science minor. Like I don't want to code for the rest of my life, but I think EECS 280, which is like one of the intro computer science classes, it's just a really good class and you learn a lot. And I came out like, a lot more confident in my abilities to code. Same with x 281 My favorite College of Engineering course, probably one of the climate classes I'm currently taking. It focuses on Earth systems and how everything interacts globally. Um, it's very interesting to me, given that I'm a meteorology major. What was the worst class you've taken? Thermodynamics. I took it as a freshman, which I shouldn't have done. Mechanical Engineering 235, and it was just, I did not have a good time. <laughs> and so you spend a lot of your time on North Campus. He actually lives up here. Yes. Um, first of all, why did you choose to live on North Campus? I chose to live on North Campus partially because three out of my four classes are here this semester, and it just saves me a lot of time. Instead of if I lived on Central, I'd have to take the bus up every single day, where instead I can take the bus down to Central, you know, two days a week instead of all five. Uh, also, I lived in Bursley Hall last year, which is one of the dorms up on North Campus, and I just love the environment. North Campus, it gets a bad rap, but it's very peaceful, it's very pretty, and it's not as bad as people say it is. Um, a lot of students are nervous about having to travel back and forth from North, so how would you say that you manage your time doing that? 
it's really not that bad taking the bus like i think it's honestly a nice break between classes like you can't really do anything on the bus so it's just a nice break you can sit there listen to music talk to your friends whatever freshman year i lived in oxford and sophomore year i lived in stockwell and they both have bus stops right out front so that was super easy like you just walk outside your dorm hop on a bus um the bus apps they're getting a little bit better with like telling you exactly when the bus is going to come so you can just time it and it's not too long of a ride uh now that i live off campus i'm like 10 minute walk from the bus stop but it's not too bad either i'm at one of the closest bus stops to north so once i get on it's just like a five minute ride not too bad so you spend a lot of time on the bus you're kind of a bus master what is your favorite route <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't say i'm a bus master but <laughs> my favorite route probably is bursley Bates, just because it goes from north to central and it stops literally right outside my apartment so it's very convenient um, there's a few other routes that go between North and Central, so you do have options depending on where you're trying to go on North or where you're trying to go on Central, but that's just the one that works best for me. What's your favorite building on North Campus? Probably the Wilson Student Project Center. It's in the Gorguzzi Family Laboratory building. It's where they have all the different project teams on North Campus, so we've got an electric car, we've got a gas car, or we used to have a gas car, now it went electric. We've got people that build rockets, we have a concrete canoe team, wow. we have a Marshall Rover, just to name a few. I really like the GGB, that's where all the mechanical engineering classes are, and it's really pretty. Yeah, that's like on the other side, they have lights that light up, and it's just nice on the inside and everything. I also went to the robotics building for the first time the other day, it's new, and like, it's not super close to this main part of North Campus, but it's really nice, and. I don't know, it kind of looks like Ross in some ways, like just that newer style and everything. And then there's like robots all over, which is kind of cool. Well, I have to give my favorite building to the climate space department, but uh, that's a bit biased. So I do love Pierpont as well. It's one of my favorite study spots here on campus in addition to the dude. You also get a lot of food and there's just, everything's in Pierpont. You could practically live in here if you wanted to. <laughs> So then, what does getting a master's in electrical engineering do for you, like your professional career? Yeah, so electrical engineering is a really broad subject. So we take a lot of different classes in a lot of fields of electrical engineering. Like some of us do signal processing for a little bit. Some of us do chip design. Some of us do circuit board design, like elect uh, magnetic fields and magnetic design. And we take a bunch of little classes in each one, kind of getting a flavor for each of them. And the master's degree has you kind of pick one of those fields. And when you pick the field, you take more classes specialized in it, and it will more narrowly guide you into a career that um, you're specialized into. So applying for jobs, a lot of them say, looking for an electrical engineer. And those ones usually are like really broad electrical engineering, and they won't really do the design work that I want to do. And with a master's degree, you've taken so much more classes, you're treated more as a designer and somebody that knows their stuff. Very cool. And so you're a GSI, how has that been? It's been a wild ride. So I'm teaching in one of the new physics labs, 151. It's brand new this semester and the labs have gone really good sometimes and just, we totally missed the mark on other ones, but We've corrected for it, and um, I think next next semester we we now know how the students are going to react to each lab, and it's going to go really well. Do you think your yeah. students like you? Are you their favorite GSI? <laughs> so, yeah, that's one of the crazy things, because the physics labs are timed, and when students are under the time crunch of getting it done, they don't really see me as a very nice guy because <laughs> I'm t telling them kind of the rush through the lab. The students love me the first hour of class and then once yeah. the time gets to them, it's more of a, why, why do we have to finish this in an hour? Why can't I finish it later? And you know, that's, that's a fair point. So I think we're going to try and kind of revamp what we did this semester. You have a job, so <laughs> tell me about your job search and how it was like um, looking for that. Yeah, I do have a job. So I am moving to Cincinnati. I'm going to work for Procter & Gamble. Um, I did two internships for them and I still did a little bit of recruiting for like see what else is out there and everything, but I ended up uh, going back to p and and I'm really excited about it. So I have to start looking into like apartments and all that stuff, but it'll be fun. I'll be in their baby care division, so they own like Pampers and Loves. Yeah, they own a lot of other big brands, so it's exciting to work for such a big company. Yeah, what are you going to do for them? 
Um, I'm a product supply engineer, so it's sort of making sure the product gets made like quickly, efficiently, um, on quality every single time, and I'm doing like modeling and simulation type work too. So fun. <laughs> What's the biggest misconception about engineers? That we keep to ourselves and don't talk to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> On North Campus, you'll see a lot of engineers with their head staring down at the pavement, just not even looking at anybody else. And other engineers are more social too, but I think the misconception is people just look at us staring at the ground walking and are like, they're just antisocial. It's not at all true. If we look at the ground, it's because we're thinking about a problem that we're working on. Because our problems are pretty, pretty hard, pretty complex, and really tough to do in general. So it's usually just us thinking about it. And when our homework assignments are done, you'll see us talking to people and interacting a little bit more. Okay. But <laughs> we, we still talk to people. Okay, that's good to know. I think that we're not like social. <laughs> that we just spend all of our time studying, but I've met a lot of really fun people in engineering. And yeah. I feel like engineers have a lot of stigma around them. What do you do to negate that stigma? <laughs> I mean, you're an engineer, you may as well embrace the stigma. Just because there's a certain stigma about engineers doesn't mean you have to follow it. Don't listen to what anyone else says about engineers, you can be your own person. And if you do care, then there are other engineers you can talk to. No one, no one needs any of these LSA people. <laughs> I think one of the biggest assumptions that, you know, we're antisocial, we're no fun, but do really, you think that's true? I do not think that's true. <laughs> I think I'm a lot of fun. I know a lot of people in engineering who are a lot of fun and who are some of the more social people I've ever met. It's about you, not about the engineering stigma. If you're worried about coming into engineering and being some sort of social outcast, I can say that you can forget it. That's a high school thing. College is a lot different. There's less of a click around kind of the popular people and so to speak. If our engineering isn't popular, then you have a poor sense of fun, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you've been on the undergrad, the grad, and now GSI side of Michigan Engineering. What is your biggest advice? You should take EECS 215 over the other alternatives. So EECS 215 is the introduction to electrical and computer engineering. And if you're an undecided engineer and don't know what you want to do, each engineering discipline makes you take a circuits class. And each circuit class can be replaced with the electrical engineering circuit class since it goes a little bit more in depth because electrical engineers need to know that going forward. And so if you don't know what you want to do and you're not specifically ruling the EECS department out, then you should take it, see if you like it. If you don't like it, not a big deal. You still get the credit. You can use it later on in another major. Biggest tip for someone coming in as a prospective engineering student is make sure you know how to manage your time well. Engineering is a lot of work, but it's very rewarding as well when you can you know, pull it off. But some of these classes are a bit more hardcore. So just before you come in, make sure you're up to the task. Definitely try to make some friends in engineering. Like I know maybe, I don't know, there's like other orgs you'd want to get involved in and like that's important too. But I think having those engineering orgs and being able to make friends in engineering, like I'm in an engineering sorority, so like a lot of my friends are in engineering, but it's just really helpful to get through those classes and like have partners for projects that you know and just having like that support system in these challenging classes and everything. And yeah, just go to like office hours. There's a lot of study groups. There's the engineering learning center. Like there's a ton of resources. They want you to succeed. So. Well, Alexa's fantastic. And yeah. Go blue. Be an engineer. <laughs> Bye, Mads. Bye, Mads.